What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and this is going to be a very fun topic to cover. This is the hybrid attack, Town Hall 13, Town Hall 12, and Town Hall 11. It's good for all those Town Hall levels, and there's four keys that we've seen in these attacks that kind of makes or breaks whether or not you get the three star. So in this video, I'm gonna break down the hybrid attack strategy. This is the queen charge paired with a hybrid of miners and hogs with a couple heal spells. There's lots of uh, nuances to this attack, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down for you guys so it's easy to understand. And I'm really gonna hit on those keys and you'll see them in these attacks we're gonna look at today. These four keys that if you get them done correctly, you have a very, very good chance of three starring, even at Town Hall 13. Um, so we're gonna start at Town Hall 13, then we'll move down to Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 11. Um, let me just go ahead and say these four as we take a look at the attack, and then I'll, I'll talk about how we see them in these attacks. First one is you're gonna need narrow pathing for your hog slash miner uh, deployment. So everything needs to be able to stay within roughly the width of a heal spell. At Town Hall 13, that's a little harder because the bases are bigger, but you need somewhat narrow pathing for your hogs and miners to move through the base. Otherwise, they spread out too much, they spread too thin, takes them too long to get through the base, and once they take too long, the defenses have enough time to take them out. So that's pretty obvious. I've talked about that before in videos. Another thing, this is Town Hall 13, Town Hall 12 mostly, where you have the Town Hall as a defense, the Town Hall and the Eagle both have to be accounted for and dealt with in a efficient way. In this case, the Queen took out the Town Hall. That's always a good thing. If you can have your Queen take out the Town Hall or the Eagle, they're the two things that can really be tough for the hybrid because they have a lot of hit points. The Eagle is gonna do a lot of splash damage. The Town Hall also can take, a lot, uh, take on multiple targets at once. So those are two very tricky things for your hybrid to take out. So either your Queen Charge gets them or the hybrid gets them uh, quickly, early on in their pathing through the base. In this case, the eagle was only like the third layer in the base, wasn't that deep, and because of that, because it was taken out quickly and efficiently, it wasn't able to do that much damage to the hogs and miners. That's number two. The third one is you want your queen charge to be survivable. You want the, your queen to be up the entire attack. Very important, and um, we'll see, uh, you know, in the, these, some of these attacks, the queen is the only thing that's left up at the end of the attack. Um, so it's very, very helpful to have her up. We'll talk details of that as well, because um, you're basically going to want a break in some of the DPS somewhere within her charge, so that you can kind of take your attention off her, know she's going to be okay, there's maybe only one defense on her, and turn your attention to the deployment of your hybrid, that's the hogs and the miners. Um, that was a Town Hall 13 attack. Only going to show one, because I've covered it pretty heavily on the channel thus far. Let's switch gears and take a look at a couple from both Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 11, um, but a lot of the same principles are going to apply here. Um, I think I'm still missing our last one, which is you're going to want to deal with that kill zone for your hogs and miners. Basically what that means is in most hybrid attacks there's that one spot as the hogs and miners move through the base that they're taking up the most damage. Um, they're probably going up against the highest hit point buildings and the most susceptible to being taken out in large numbers. It's that period of time where it's critical that you either have your warden's ability covering them, there's freezes down covering defenses, they're being raged so they move quicker. Not just a heal spell is going to be enough. Um, the heal spell is great for maybe initial entry and kind of towards the end. But typically in the middle there's that big um, kind of juicy <laughs> meat of the base, uh, so to speak, where it's very critical that you're taking care of your hogs and miners because that is where they're most susceptible to, to dying. Um, so this next attack, let's talk about how we see those four principles applied. Uh, right off the bat, the Town Hall dealt with quickly. Very important. Uh, town Hall and Eagle for Town Hall 12 and 13 with the Town Halls of Defense. Um, town Hall, check. The Eagle is a little deeper in the base, but there's a freeze on it which kind of helps deal with that. That also kind of goes to the point of this is the critical zone right here. Um, the Inferno, the Eagle is still up. There's Expos, Cannons, lots of DPS. Um, has the Freeze down, then boom, Warden's Ability. Um, this is the critical time for the hybrid, and that's where you want the Warden's Ability to cover everything. Especially when they start to spread out, get to a little bit too wide for everything to be covered by a heal spell, 
that's when the Warden's ability is so strong because he has a much wider radius than the heal spell. So you want to use him when the troops are more spread out, use those heal spells initially when the troops are very you know, close together, um, assuming there's not a ton of damage and you have to use the Warden's ability just to keep everything alive. Typically the heal spell is better at that early initial entry. Uh, once again, Queen is still up. That's very important. And I, as we look at the next couple of attacks, I'll really break down um, why the Queen charge needs to be planned out and how you can know if your Queen's going to be able to survive the entire attack. Um, so let's keep moving. Um, I, I will also will put, point out the pathing was good. Narrow pathing. Not much wider than the width of the heal spell. So you kind of have an image of a heal spell in your mind. Not that much wider. Uh, I know that's kind of vague, but you want most of your stuff to be able to be covered by one heal, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. Okay, next attack, Town Hall 12 again. Let's, uh, let's take a look at it, and let's really focus on the Queen Charge this time. Go ahead and fast forward to the start. I'm really loving the Super Wall Breakers, guys. You have a much higher percentage of being successful if you can avoid using a jump spell on your Queen. Um, so really look to use the Super Wall Breakers if you're able to access them to open up multiple layers of the base that maybe otherwise the regular wall breakers are too risky to try because it is going to be very valuable to have that extra heal spell is what that typically equates to um, instead of the jump to be able to keep your hogs and miners healed a little bit more in the base. Okay, a lot of DPS on the queen. That is okay, not a bad thing necessarily. The point is there's going to be a little break and because there's no jump spell, actually I think an extra rage was brought. No freezes, which, you know, it's depending on the base. So, Queen is doing her thing right here. Um, not the best lull in, in damage, but only two point defense, which is not, not, you know, unbearable. Has the Queen raged up for most of it. The miners come in, take out that archer tower. So right here is kind of that critical spot where your Queen would die. I'm sorry to pause it, but it's when you're just deploying your, your hybrid, when the queen has kind of done her job dealing with the CC, the eagle's lighting up. This is that critical time, and you can see in the base, just one expo on her. That's the key to this attack. Plus, she's raged up, because I think the warden actually locks on, so helpful to have her raged up, um, but not a ton of damage on her. She's going to be okay. The ability was used earlier than probably the, the attacker would have liked, but... Um, this is why this attack works so well. Now the Town Hall, there wasn't an immediate plan for it, it wasn't taken out very fast, but um, the pathing was good, the Siege Barracks created the pathing on the other side, it was very narrow pathing, which funneled everything right into the Town Hall, we have the Warden's ability over the Town Hall, everything's okay, the Queen takes out the Eagle, um, so the, the power of this attack was that the, the pathing was pretty tight for the Miners and Hogs, so even though the Town Hall wasn't going down right away, um, it was very reliable that everything was going to reach the town hall and there'd be a lot of force to take it out quickly before it did too much damage. So one thing you'll see um, as we go through these attacks is that it's sometimes a bit of a trade-off. You can't have a perfect scenario for each of these four checkboxes. And once again guys, it's the Eagle Town Hall, um, unless you're a Town Hall 11 then it's just the Eagle. But those high hit point, high damage buildings are very important to have either taken out with your Queen or taken out quickly and efficiently by your hybrid. Number two, um, the narrow pathing through the base for your hybrid. Three, your queen's not going to die during her, or towards the end of her charge. The queen should not be a martyr in the attack. She should actually see it out to the end, and um, that'll help save time as well. Um, and then finally, the kill zone, that critical time for your miners. You have your warden's ability, you have freezes, you have whatever it takes to keep your miners up when the heal spell is not enough through that critical part of the base. Okay, shifting gears to Town Hall 11 for these last two attacks. Everything still applies. Um, obviously the Town Hall, like I said, not a defense. So the Eagle is even more important. And I've talked about that before in videos, guys. The Eagle is always very important um, at Town Hall 11, especially because it makes up an even greater fraction of that damage that the Defender has. Um, it's more powerful proportionally to the troops at Town Hall 11 than it is at the higher Town Hall levels. So Eagle is important. Um, fortunately, the Queen is a little bit easier to keep up just because um, there's not as much damage on the base and the Queen charges. Typically, you're not going to have to worry about your Queen dying as much. Um, so that is a benefit of Town Hall 11. It's not going to be as stressful to do these Queen charges. 
This was a very nice charge, by the way. Um, super wall breakers into that next compartment to access the other inferno. Um, actually, there's a jump spell. We'll see how it's done. I think it might be a jump spell that's used. Uh, but it was very nice getting both those infernos taken out by the queen charge. And then uh, taking a look at the rest of the base here. Minion on the town hall. Maybe could have put a baby dragon there to speed things up a little bit, but whatever. Uh, Siege Barracks goes down. This is creating that narrow pathing for the hybrid. Um, width of a heal spell, if you look at this, you know, expo to air defense roughly. That checks out okay. About a little bigger than the width of a heal spell, which is, you know, what you're aiming for. Um, the narrower, the better, typically. Um, so the Siege Barracks does its job creating the funnel. Some hogs come out to reinforce. And then right as we get past the eagle is really the critical kill zone. Um, queen is on everything. There's three expos. There's uh, some wizard towers. Boom. Warden's ability covering everything as it spreads out as the heal spell would be a lot less effective. So keeps them up for that period of time. Then that back end heal. Um, once you kind of move past the kill zone, everything's spread out. You can only heal a certain group. So aim for the biggest group. Um, just kind of use your judgment, use your experience. It's hard to give you a a rule of thumb for that, but just use that last heal spell that you'll typically have as best you can, and um, hopefully your queen's still up to help finish everything off as well. So the queen comes around, and you can see that the end game for the queen was nice. She kind of came back outside the base, which is often a good thing. If she did enough inside the base, not always a bad thing for her to come back out. That can actually serve to your advantage if it allows her to stay up and take out some perimeter defenses. One more Town Hall 11 attack as we wrap this thing up, guys. Um, don't want to leave you hanging at these lower Town Hall levels. Lower in parentheses. I guess lower relative to the wars we're currently in. I want to cover Town Hall 10 again. I'll have to... I've been coordinating a little bit, but um, it would require me to kind of move to another clan to, to fully cover it since one Half Genesis doesn't have the Town Hall 10s it used to. Um, but there's still some relevant gameplay at Town Hall 10, which would be nice to cover. Uh, and there's, you know, there's all kinds of esports at, at all the town hall levels, really, um, which is something I've appreciated recently in the uh, in Clash of Clans that has come out in the last you know year or two. Okay, so last attack here. Once again, taking a look at those four things. Queen uh, starts off here. Two super wall breakers. The super wall breakers are a very good friend of the hybrid guys. Um, they are eliminating jump spells left and right and really allowing you to have the optimal rages, enough rages to uh, to keep your queen up and enough heal spells to keep your uh, your hogs and miners up. It's a beautiful thing those super wall breakers are. Um, if you're an attacker, not so much if you're a defender, That's they can really you know be a headache to build bases against. So the queen comes in here for the eagle. Very nice. If you can queen charge that eagle at Town Hall 11, definitely do it. That's taken out a big, big defense as far as uh, as far as what the defender has at Town Hall 11. Um, freeze on the queen or queen to keep uh, his queen up. Another super wall breaker, I think that was the, didn't go to the right spot because that's where the hybrid's coming from. So right here, King kind of clears out some trash for the queen to funnel her as well as kind of start things for the hybrid. Siege Barracks is really creating the funnel for the most part on the other side though. And then here come the miners. Now, once again, only one expo, not even, it's on the healers now. So the queen is, she's okay. The pathing is not as narrow as we would like to see, but one of the benefits is that P.E.K.K.A. is able to come inside the base and really help make it a little more narrow um, with the, the benefit of those gaps in the walls. Nice Warden's ability over that critical piece as all the damage really starts to hit those miners and hogs, maybe a little early if anything, because uh, a lot of them do die right after the Warden's ability wears off. But um, those max hogs are very nice coming out of the siege barracks. So it gets kind of a second wind here of the hybrid as everything moves through. Plus the king is still alive, the P.E.K.K.A. is still alive. Um, the siege barracks is a very powerful tool at Town Hall 11. And the queen's still alive. Didn't forget about her. She hasn't really done much since that initial thing she did, which was take out the eagle. And that's, you know, that's already a big contribution. So the queen kind of did her job, even though it wasn't taking out a lot of real estate on the base, it was taking out a very valuable... Uh, defensive building in the Eagle. So anyway, um, everything wraps up here and uh, that'll do it for this video as well. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, enter the creator code, all the usual stuff I say in every video. And I will see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.